Eagle Communications, and uh, I got another video to show you. Um, it's how to import contacts into the 3CX using a CSV file, uh, whether you export it from Gmail or some other uh, email service. But it has to be in a CSV file, and it has to be a certain way with certain information um, in order for it to properly, or even for that matter, upload import into the 3cx so what you're going to want to do is head over to here to contacts and now if you don't have the proper format of how to upload it um, you can just hit export even though there's nothing in there just hit export and as you'll see i'll get um, the excel file here and it will have all the information that, that you need to have in there okay i guess you don't need all the information you actually need two of these rows or two of the columns um, filled okay one of which is it has to be at least one of these three so you either have to have a first name a last name or a company and you have to have at least a telephone number whether it be home mobile or business okay so for example if I was going to import um, oh, if I was going to import from let's say another file and I came over to my file and I just wanted to do a, a copy and paste. Let's say I wanted to do the whole row. Because this is a common error that, that, that I come across. Is, so we'll come over to here and we'll hit paste. All right? So it just, it, it just pasted everything that I just copied. Um, but what you'll notice is, is in Google or whatever, it, this uh, first column is named simply name. Okay, and it could be something else, who knows, but it has to say first name, okay? So it has to say first name, and then, so this right here would not be able to be imported um, because I don't have a telephone number, so let's just put a telephone number in there. And we'll just change the name. You don't have to have a last name, so I'll just show you. Okay, and I'll show you that these won't upload or import. So I'm going to save this. Um, if you were to go File, Save As, um, okay, that's going to work. So I've seen in the past, sometimes this actually is by default a TXT file. Just make sure that it's a, a CSV file or CS, yeah, CSV. Okay, so I'm saving that. Yes, overwrite, whatever. You know the drill. Okay, then I'm going to come over here to Import. And I'm going to grab that file. And as you can see, not all of them imported. But the one that was properly done, that had the name and at least a, a telephone number, properly uploaded. Okay, so if I were to go back over to that file. I don't know why that popped up. You know, and then we just have to enter this information. All right, I'll just keep it all the same. And now those will import. I don't know what that said. Okay, so yeah, now those will import. So quite simple, but there are some things that you need to um, need to look for when uh, when you're trying to import it because uh, it does have to be a certain way. Okay, and there it is. Now I have a double. So it is. You know, it's real quick too. So. Um, again, when you come from the Gmail or another provider, um, it does have to match and the, and the columns do need to have the correct headings at the top in order for it to upload. So look for those if you're having any problems. Um, otherwise, if you're doing this brand new, you know, keep that in mind. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. Always, I, I always enjoy um, getting feedback. If there's anything we can provide, another video that we can do um, to help you guys. Uh, uh, work with the 3CX. It is a very user-friendly uh, PBX, which you probably already know that, but uh, you know, sometimes not everybody's familiar with everything, and we just like to have a place where you can go to actually get a, a visual on how to set things up. So again, thanks, like, subscribe, comment below, um, and we'll see you around. Thanks.